If only there were someone I could share this lack of pleasure with. How lousy was it when your parents split up? It's pretty lousy. It's not, you know, mustard gas, World War I trenches lousy. But for someone who's nine years old, it feels like the world is crumbling in a way that you did not think it could. Uh, wouldn't it be nice to not have so much fantasism? Wouldn't it be nice if conflict and, and the false urgency of the 24-hour news networks, of which you very wisely have decided <laughs> to walk away from. And by the way, I think they've made a brilliant choice by bringing in a British guy no one's heard of. <laughs> I think that is, when I'm thinking about floating a, a sinking ship, what do I want to bring on it? But a guy that people are gonna tune in and go, who's that? <laughs> Behind me, a filled room. 9-11 first responders and in front of me a nearly empty Congress sick and dying they brought themselves down here to speak to no one shameful Please welcome Michael J. Fox <laughs> It's interesting, you know, as, as I watch you now and, and through all the years I've listened to your albums and things, your fascination with language is so apparent. Watching you work is, is almost like watching a musician. You know, the way you, you weave words and use language for emphasis and, and all that. Was that always a fascination for you, even as a kid? Well, uh, to, to go backwards with the question, don't forget what we do is oratory. It's rhetoric. It's not just comedy. It's a form of rhetoric. And, and with rhetoric, you, you, look and, you listen for rhythms. You, you look for ways to sing at the same time you're talking and to go <laughs> and it's just natural um. uh, now uh, i would imagine as this show is airing there may be information out there right now that the audience might not be aware of uh so i will uh just tell you uh Doug Herzog, Michelle Gainless of Comedy Central, gave me an incredible opportunity 17 years ago to pilot this wonderful franchise. And uh, I, uh, 17 years is the longest I have ever in my life held a job by 16 years and five months. Uh, thank you. The upshot there being, uh, I am a terrible employee, uh, but, but in my heart, I know it, it is time for someone else to have that opportunity. And I told you they didn't know. You probably know. Uh, not right away.